Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members, um, I'll speak very briefly against this bill. But here it is, one week left in this session, when we have a lot of unmet priorities that this body hasn't taken up. And chief among those, and there are many, is we have not enacted any serious legislation to address the epidemic of gun violence in this state. We haven't passed a bill to close the background check loophole, even though the lieutenant governor a year and a half ago said he wanted to do that. We haven't said that if you have a gun stolen that you're gonna be required to report that theft to, to law enforcement. And there's a host of other things that we have not done that the people of Texas have repeatedly demanded that we do, whether it's through calls to our offices or emails to our offices or visits to this building, lobbying members, volunteers, grassroots citizens from all of our districts coming in and asking us to enact common sense legislation. We haven't done any of those things. But what we have here before us today as we you know, approach midnight is a bill that would create a permitless carry scheme in our state. A, a bill that says you don't have to have a permit to carry a handgun, concealed or in the open. You do not have to have any training to carry a handgun, concealed or in the open. And that is why law enforcement organizations oppose this bill, because it's going to make the jobs of law enforcement officers even more difficult than they already are. It's gonna be hard to tell who's a bad guy and who's a good guy, and they really can't do anything about it. That's why they oppose this bill. But perhaps what's most offensive is what a slap in the face this is to all those people who have asked us and pleaded and begged that we finally do something about the epidemic of gun violence. And yes, that means the horrific mass shooting in El Paso in August of 2019, and the, which was followed a few weeks later by the horrific shooting in Midland and Odessa. And this is our first session since those tragedies. And this is our response. This is our response. A bill to allow permitless carry, a bill to say you don't have to have any training to carry a handgun in the state of Texas. And I can't imagine a worse slap in the face to all those people who have advocated, to the victims, to the families of victims, and that's why I'll be voting no on this bill, and hope you will too.